Hello and welcome to this Oracle Cloud World presentation. In this session, I, Orlando Gentil, Oracle University instructor, will take you on a brief overview of the OCI Compute service. Compute is one of the essential building block service of the cloud. It enables us to provision computers, either physical or virtual, in the cloud. Those computers are used directly by you or by other OCI services. Every compute instance contains CPU, memory, and storage. Before I proceed with the compute service details, it's necessary to explain how CPUs work on OCI. OCI uses OCPU, Oracle Compute Unity. Normally, a vCPU is a thread of a compute core in a multi-threaded processor. One OCPU represents a full core of the physical server, meaning that it's the equivalent of two vCPUs or two threads. It is important thing to know, as it will affect the way you size your infrastructure, and it also can have impact on software licensing. Now that we know how CPUs are counted on OCI, let's look at the ways that you can use the compute service. The first way is the bare metal. Bare metal is a compute choice provided on OCI with direct hardware access with all the security capabilities, elasticity, and scalability of Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Typical use cases for bare metal compute instances are performance-intensive workloads, non-virtualizable workloads, or workloads that require a specific hypervisor. The second way are virtual machines. A virtual machine is an independent computing environment that runs on top of physical bare metal hardware. They run isolated from each other, and do, you do not need to take care of the virtualization host maintenance. The last option is the dedicated virtual machine host. The dedicated virtual machine host feature gives you the ability to run compute virtual machine instances on dedicated servers that are a single tenant and not shared with other customers. This feature lets you meet compliance and regulatory requirements for isolation that prevents you from using shared infrastructure. You can also use uh, this feature to meet node-based or host-based where it mandates to license the whole server. Currently, OCI offers AMD, Intel, and Ampere processors. The processor choice is part of the information that you enter when you create an instance on OCI. It's part of the shape of the instance. But what is a shape? A shape is a template that defines the resources allocated to an instance. Shapes can be of two types, fixed shapes and flexible shapes. Bare metal instances are always created from fixed shapes because a bare metal instance provisions a physical server. You can create virtual machines from either fixed or flexible shapes. Fixed shapes have the amount of CPU and memory predefined. They also include the special shapes that are the dense I.O. shapes that have local NVMe disks, the GPU shapes that come with NVIDIA graphic processors, and HPC, high-performance computing, that are equipped with high-frequency processor cores and support cluster networking. Different from the fixed shapes, flexible shapes allow the instance to have CPU and memory changed on its creation or during it if its lifespan. You can use flexible shapes with this VM series. To resize an instance based on a flexible shape, you edit the instance and define the desired new allocation of OCPUs and memory by sliding the control or entering the number. Flexible shapes are available only for virtual machines. When it comes to billing, 
The compute service will offer you on-demand instances. When you decide to provision an instance, the resources are immediately allocated for you and the instance is created. Upon termination, the resources are released and the billing stops. You pay just for the time you use the resources and the resources are allocated on a first come, first served basis. In addition to on-demand instances, capacity reservations and preemptible instances are the other options. Unlike on-demand capacity, where you cannot be sure that the resources will always be available when needed, capacity reservation gives you that guarantee. How it works? Ahead of time, you will create a reservation this ensures the resources will be available when you decide to use them. When you create an instance, you will inform and it will be using the resources from that reservation. The capacity reservation does not have size or time commitments. They can be created, changed or deleted at any time. While a reserved resource is not in use, you will be charged a discounted price for it. Remember, capacity reservation is all about planning. Planning in advance ensures the availability of resources, avoid uncertainty, gives you better cost, and prevents capacity waste. Preemptible instances uses excess compute capacity. That excess capacity is provided on a first-come, first-served based, and there is no way to retain ownership or any kind of reservation. That makes them ideal for short-lived workloads. They, can have, they cannot have their shape changed and cannot be converted to an on-demand instance. If capacity is needed, the preemptible instance will be terminated. If your workloads are able to withstand interruptions and are fault tolerant, you can take advantage of the low cost of the preemptible instances. They are 50% cheaper than on-demand instances. Burstable instance is a virtual machine instance that provides a baseline level of CPU performance with the ability to burst to a higher level occasion and handle occasional spikes in usage. When you create a burstable instance, you set the maximum amount of OCPU in the baseline. The baseline represents the number of OCPUs that will be used mostly and will always be available. The difference between the maximum count of OCPUs and the baseline is the spare capacity that handles occasional spikes. Burstable VMs are oversubscribed, meaning that the bursting is contingent on available capacity. The usage pattern defines the ability to burst. If CPU utilization in the previous 24 hours is below average, the instance will be allowed to burst. Remember, the burst is meant to handle spikes. If your instance is constantly spiking, you need to change the baseline or increase the number of OCPUs. Every compute instance, whether it's bare metal or a virtual machine, is created using an image. An image is a template to the boot volume. It defines partitions, contains the OS, and additional software. There are four types of, partition, of images that can be used in OCI. Platform images. Those are Oracle provided uh, images with a number of standard images that can be used to create an instance. There are multiple flavors of Linux, including Oracle Linux, CentOS, and Ubuntu. There are also Oracle provided Windows images. Next, we have custom images. Once you finish the configuration of an instance, you can save the work done in a custom image. And whenever you want, you will be able to create an exact copy from that instance. Continuing, we have the marketplace with images that are uh, from Oracle products and third-party images 
from partners that are ready to be deployed in your tenancy. The last type of image is uh, your own image. The Bring Your Own Image feature allows the migration of on-premise virtual machines to the cloud. Importing, exporting, and bringing your own image allow to bring virtualized root volumes from anywhere to Oracle Cloud infrastructure, and then create your custom images. All these features enable virtual machine cloud migration projects, supports to both and old operating systems, and increases infrastructure flexibility. OCI virtual machine can vertically scale. If the instance uses a flexible instance, uh, I miss it. Uh, do you want me to restart on this or? Okay. OCI virtual machines can vertically scale. If the instance uses a flexible in shape, you can edit and choose individually the OCPU and memory counts. If they are using fixed shapes, you can change it to a different shape with more or less resources. In both cases, a reboot is required to make the change effective. Along with vertical scaling, OCI Compute Services provide uh, Compute Auto Scaling. It is a feature that allows pools of instances to scale horizontally. How it works? All starts with an instance configuration that will be created from an existing instance. From there, uh, you will create a resource pool. This pool will use the configuration as a template, and it also has the information of where its instances will be provisioned, meaning in which availability domain, compartment, and VCN they will be placed. It's also possible to tell if they should be included in a load balancer backend set. After the pool is set, you can assign an auto scaling policy that can be metric or scheduled based. Metric based policies will evaluate the CPU or memory usage of the instances, and based on predefined thresholds, it will decide if it needs to increase or decrease the number of instances in the pool. If it's a scheduled pool, uh, the policy will contain the times and the pool uh, that the pool should have its size changed. OCI offers a cloud agent that manages plugins running on computing instances. Plugins collect performance metrics, install OS updates, and perform other instance management tasks. The cloud agent comes pre-installed in the platform agents, but can also be added to other images. OS management is another feature that comes uh, with uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. It provides automated operating system patch and package management for Oracle, Linux, and Windows instances, and enables improved OS platform security and reliability. Without leaving the console, it gives you information on CVEs and what is the current status of the instance. OS management service helps eliminate the cost of manual tasks and reduce potentially costly errors, cyber attacks, and unplanned downtime. Managed installed packages can be performed from the OS management interface, eliminating the need to access the instance directly. This reduces the surface of attack and also a chance of mistakes while using the instance. It's a fully integrated service and available to you within the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console and is a free service if you are subscribed to OCI. This concludes our presentation. Thanks for your time and thanks for your interest in OCI Cloud Compute Services.